Then came the second wave of an additional 171 aircraft to continue the strafing, bombing, and dropping of torpedoes for yet another 70 minutes. Yes, that's a total of 360 enemy warplanes. As the attack proceeded at Pearl Harbor and Higginfield, the devastation was horrifying. On the eastern edge of Fort Island, in the center of the harbor, nine battleships lay at birth. The California, Oklahoma, West Virginia, Tennessee, Maryland, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Utah, and Arizona. Luckily at the time, our three Pacific aircraft carriers were out at sea. First, the Japanese hit with Kate torpedo bombers. The initial wave of Kate's hit five of our battleships, the Oklahoma, Nevada, West Virginia, and the Utah. These Kates were specially equipped with shallow running torpedoes specifically designed for the attack on Pearl Harbor. You see the shallow waters at Pearl Harbor would not allow the use of normal deep running torpedoes, which leaves no question that this was a thought out plan and not a surprise attack. Then came the Bell Dive Bombers, armed with 1,700 pounds of armor busting projectiles, originally made for 16 inch battleship guns. Thank you. 